So now we've created a nice bar chart for our data frame. Now let's say we want to save the content of this data frame as CSV file. To, to be able to do that, we need a data frame writer that helps us write the content of data frame to different data sources. What we will do, first we create a new cell down here and then we go to the customer purchase level data frame. Then we invoke the write method and this method returns a data frame writer that we can then configure. The first thing we will do is to specify the format of the file that we would like to write out. So in our case, we want to write a CSV file. N note that we have two options here. We can either use a built-in method like CSV or JSON, or we can use the format method here and then specify the format we want to write out manually. So let's we will use the built-in one. The CSV method takes the part where we want to write the file as argument. So in our case, it is the file store. We will then create a folder called output, an output folder, and the file name should be customer purchase level.csv. So this is all we need to do to write the file as CSV. So let me execute this cell and we see what happens. Now this was successful, so we can then read the file back. Let's say val data frame equal sparked dot read dot csv and then we copy this pass that in and execute that one now we have a data frame without let us inspect the data frame df dot print schema okay now you can first see that we still need to pass in more options to the data frame writer up here because although our the customer purchase level data frame has a schema this is somehow not reflected in the file that we then wrote out so let us also take a view into the data and looks exactly like, like the like the data frame that we write out so the customer purchase level data frame but we can see the first problem here is that the header is not is not correct so to solve that there's always an option for everything so here we are writing the file so here we will pass in an option call option and then we say header we set it to true so that way the header of our data frame will also be, be written out while the file is being saved so we do that we run this cell again then we also run this cell again and we can do a show here let me see show the first 30 rows okay what is happening here boom right purchase ever ah haha. the first operation was not successful because we have an error here the file is already existing so when we are writing 
when we use the data frame writer we have the option to tell it what to do when the file is already existing so for that there are mode it's called mode so let me do dot mode and we can pass in different save mode and as you can see the mode method can take four different so four different argument so if the file is already existing we can append to it we can throw an error if the file already exists this is the default mode this is why we also got this error we can ignore the right operation and nothing will happen or we can override the existing file with the new data frame so i will pick the override one and then execute this again and then we can read the file again and take a look at the first, first 30 rows now we can see that the header of the file is being considered as being one valid row so when we are reading a csv file we still need to tell apache spark apache spark that the first record in the file is the header are uh, the header information and not a not valid record so to do that we go back here where we are reading our file and as always there's an option for it we use the option header and then we say true so there's one thing you will you should notice here when we are writing a csv file and we specify the header true then the header information are also written together with the file if we omit this one the file will not have any header information included it's the same when we are reading csv file when we are reading csv file we have to tell apache spark that the first row in the file is a uh, header information and not data this is what we do here with the header equal e header true information so now we press Control enter and run the command again here we can take a look at the data again and you will see now we have perfect information we have the header name is the same is now is now correct and we have the count so this is how we can write a file as csv file so we can write the content of a data frame to a csv file So we could have the same result if we used the format method instead of the CSV method. I can show you how this will look like. Customer purchase level dot write. We specify the mode. We say save mode dot override. Then format csv then option we say the first one is the header then another option now it's the path and we want to save it at the same place Let me call it one customer one and then we call the save method here there's something missing here so 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 and then save so when we use the format option instead of one of the built-in one, we then have to specify the part when where we want to save the file 
and call the save method. So we can see here that there are no errors. So we can, for example, let me copy this cell to, and insert it here. Call this one DF1, purchase level 1. And then we can read the content of this file. Now we can see that the F1 has exactly the same schema and same and the same content that DF down here. So we can check it by df one dot show. And there you are. So this is how you can write the content of a data frame to a data source.